As a cop, I lost my callers to legal loopholes, but I believed in the system. As a DA, I lost my cases to crooked lawyers, but I believed in the system. As a judge, my hands were bound by the letter of the law, but I believed in the system. Until it took my life away. And then I stopped believing in the system and started believing in justice. This is what makes it all worthwhile. Every risk, every chance. If you enjoy living on the edge, then you can enjoy the rewards even more. That's why I'm here, Mr. Bellock. This is my specialty. And you've been doing a fine job, my friend. The life I've offered you is so much more satisfying than the pathetic scramblings of a gangland existence. Hmm? Oh, you can say that again. That's how I find all my people. I take them from the gutter and show them where to properly put their energies. And shortly, I'll show you the proper way of doing business. Stay sharp. You'll be here in 10 minutes. Henri, you're finally home. Marion. How did you get in? Oh, you guards are very smart men. They understand the needs of their boss. Mm -hmm. Of course they do. And I'm looking forward to finally consummating those needs with you. But I'm afraid it will have to wait. I have some very important business to attend to. Let me stay. I like to see you work. It will make me even more accommodating. If you are very quiet. I won't say a word. I love to watch. Will you be having drinks tonight, Mr. Bullock? Yes, we will. For us and one more. Very good, sir. He's here, sir. I wasn't expecting an audience for our transaction. I trust these people with my life. You should, too. Very well. Thank you, no. Half a million dollars, just as we agreed. Mm -hmm. Aha, uh -huh. a chessboard safe. It's a very clever hiding place. I find it an elegant solution to a common problem. And speaking of elegance. Yes. It truly is fantastic. The South American village I procured it from will never miss it. And I'm sure no one will miss the village either. Not in the condition I left it in. You will be the envy of any museum, Mr. Brody. In a future life.
Now that's the proper way to do business. This is going to be a night you'll never forget. is this? It's dark justice, Bellick. You killed hundreds of people for a hunk of gold. That's time to pay the price. But how? I killed you! <laughs> no, really. Now, you see, your gun was full of blanks. This one's not. And I suggest you stay calm. In about 20 minutes, the police will be here. Your career as a scavenger will be over. Twenty minutes I ever saw. I don't believe you. you know, you're supposed to call the police after we left. I didn't call them. Well, we have to get out of here. Nick, the curtain. Come on, come on. No, not with the cops busting in. Is this where we're supposed to get out in just the nick of time? I'll just open it in a minute, Nicky. Then it's gonna be too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong door. Weak wall. Come on. Okay, Nicky, this door's open. Freeze! Please. Mr. Bob Marion. And after a two year police operation, Henri Belloc III is now missing and presumed out of the country. The defendants are directly responsible for this man's escape, and the state is charging them with obstruction of justice. Salah Farouche. Three previous convictions, aggravated assault. Frank Jones, 10 years served for robbery. And Marion Devalier, two previous convictions, solicitation. Bail set at $10,000. Trial to be held the 15th. OK, it's official. We're in hell. Yeah, well, it's a hell of our own making. You know, the cop sting operation on Belloc's house was so secret, I didn't even know about it. It would really screwed up this time, guys. You know, I had to drain the sting fund just to bail you out. It's a great disguise you got there, Nicky. What do you expect? Our makeup expert was in the slammer last night. Obviously, I can't be seen talking to you guys. This is ex parte communication as it is. Thanks for bending the rules this one time. Look, I'm really sorry, you guys. I, uh, I'm just really, really sorry, but... You know, at least we got a little lucky. We're lucky that Belloc checks up on his people. Now, Moon got us all a bunch of fake police records before any of us got caught. Well, then why don't we just jump bail and go on with our own lives? Because they'll keep following you. We got to go through with it. We got to try to beat the rap. Well, can't you just dismiss our case? Not without raising a lot of eyebrows. Now, we go to trial. I figure we have a pretty good chance. Well, that's fine for us three, but what about you? Shouldn't we get a lawyer now? Nope. You guys are going to defend yourselves with my guidance. So what are you going to do, pass us notes? No, I'm going to coach you before each day. And from the bench, I'll try to steer you in the right direction. Just like I tried to do back at Belloc's house. Next time, we'll try and keep up. If there's a next time. It's 
not fair. It's not fair what you're doing. It's not fair. I mean, stop it! What's going on here? Nothing. I, I can handle it. Look, it's private, all right? This could be your death sentence. You were trying to escape. I was set up. Yeah, sure. I thought we had a deal. It was the girl, the doctor, and Ricky Sunshine. We were both set up. We would never take advantage of a personal tragedy such as yours. But we felt you might be in the market to sell after what happened. No, no, I understand. You're Tommy's new partner? That's right, you got a problem with that, huh? Tommy just happens to be equal opportunity employer. Now, what's the deal? I have some serious merchandise. Requires a heavy price. Michael took the money? No, we only borrowed the money. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. I did something wrong, did I? All the money. Well, you heard what he said. I better not find out you were involved in this. How do you find out? Well, I suppose he got a little help from your sister now, didn't he? I thought I saw something moving in here. I don't care if you saw Godzilla. Janitorial staff is not allowed in these areas. Hey, lady, I'm just trying to do my job. Your job, mister, is on the other side of that yellow line. Okay, 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 okay. It is not responsible for Midas' death. Midas is dead, though, isn't he? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll have to take this former fish in for some fish test. Perhaps we should go inside. Nope. I don't need any comfort. Gormley! Get me some heavy on. Wouldn't it be easier if I removed my sweater? Well, uh, sometimes it makes it easier. And sometimes harder. went back to that casino and it was empty. And all that phony cash that they passed off on me. You know, there's something weird going on here. Open up the gate. Open up the gate. I, I want to startle him. What? Sir, we have a problem. A man at the gate wants asylum. And he's black. Look, I'm willing to renounce Michael Jordan, Bo Jackson, MC Hammer. From what I was told by your man in Brussels, I assumed you came here tonight to do some business. We did. Mr. Osling, the Colonel wants the launching device, and he wants it tonight. We just weren't prepared for the prize. The prize is a prize. What can I do? When can we see it? Come on in. Someone's left you a present. What the hey? The night watchman. Now, who do I give my statement to? <laughs> I gotcha. Anybody home? Yeah. So, how's the weather on Pluto today? What? The planet where you seem to be spending most of your time. Are you all right? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I, I'm just been a little preoccupied, that's all. Your Honor, Judge Nick, you won't believe this. Believe what? The, the, the obstruction case. Jones and Del Valle and, and, and Farish, whatever you know. Ever think about switching to decaffeinated, Ken? Nick, I know who they really are. They're the Night Watchmen. Each one of these people claims they were set up by a black man, a woman with an accent, an old man, and one other man, the ringleader. Isn't this a little far-fetched? The files speak for themselves. Virtually all of these cases came through your courtroom. I remember doing research on them. I had a feeling about those three. I'm surprised you didn't notice the connection. Well, I guess I just missed it. This is the case of a lifetime. I can't wait to see these people. How did Mo Block find out? 
Well, Horton leaked it. He's going for all the publicity he can get. Probably got a tail on each one of you right now. Nicky, what are we going to do for defense on this thing? Well, I got an idea, but first, I got to figure out a way to keep Tara out of the courtroom. Now, she's seen Gibbs once, Maria twice. She probably won't recognize you from a photo. But if she sees you in person, she can put two and two together. Before you know it, I'll be on trial with you. We could use the company. Well, thank you very much. I hope you're not offended if I don't accept your invitation. Now, Horton is going crazy trying to figure out who the ringleader is of the night watchman. He's not concentrating on the case anymore. So hopefully we can use that against him. We can kind of keep him off balance in the courtroom. Then hopefully he'll just uh, hang himself. And what if we lose? Well, there's always the appeal. Is it Louise, Captain? Yes. Have you ever heard of the Night Watchman? Objection! To what? A question. It's irrelevant to this trial. The trial hasn't begun yet, Mr. Farouche. This is jury selection. The defense and the prosecution can ask a prospective juror anything they want. You'll have ten preemptory challenges. All right? Oh, right, right, right. right. Free what? You'll have 10 chances to refuse a juror for whatever reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, OK. OK, I'm sorry. OK, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. With all due respect, Your Honor, I must once again question the court's decision to allow the defendants to act as their own counsel. They're obviously ill prepared. They have the constitutional right to act on their own behalf. I have to abide by their decision. Please, Mr. Horton, proceed. Mrs. Kaplan, I'll ask you again. Have you ever heard of the Night Watchman? Yes, I've read about them in the paper, in that fellow Mo Block's column. Right. Uh, do you have an opinion on their alleged activities? I sure do. I think the law should be left to the court, not to a bunch of ridiculous vigilantes. Preemptory challenge. Preemptory. Preemptory. Right, well, whatever it is, I'm using it. Very good. Thank you, uh, Ms. Kaplan. You are dismissed. It's one thing his hands forgot to give us. What's that? Glossary. Do you think a night watchman is a good idea? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's about time someone did something to clean up this city. Thank you, sir. The state uses its fifth preemptory challenge and asks that this candidate be dismissed. Very well. One more bites the dust. Mr. <laughs> state uses its eighth challenge. I understand. Thank you. Mr. Harper, do you believe our legal system does an adequate job protecting the public? Yes, I do. The law is there to protect the rights of every individual, and uh, its implementation should be left to the proper authorities. Challenge. I'm afraid you've used all your challenges, Ms. Devalier. Uh, this candidate is now a juror. I don't know. That's just the way I feel about it. If a system doesn't work, Maybe it should be changed. Thank you, Mr. Bastion. As the prosecution has no more challenges available, this candidate is accepted as a juror. Very well. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems we have a jury. Congratulations. I'm sure you will all do the best job you possibly can. Court will begin tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Court is adjourned. That'll be another week before we actually find hey. Yes, Ken. I know who the ringleader is. You do? Yes. It's so obvious I don't know why I never thought about it before. 
He fancies himself a pillar of the community, a man in a position of great influence. He spends all his time in the courtroom, a self-professed defender of justice, the rights of the people. Who? Mo Block. All right, Ken. Now, what makes you think that Mo Block is the leader of the Night Watchman? The way I figure it, there are three people connected in different ways to all these cases. You, me, and him. Now, we know it's not you. You're the one who had the chance to put these people away the first time. Right. So how do we know it's not you? Because... Because I know it's not me. <laughs> you have the motive. You lost the cases. They came back to you, then you won the cases. Somebody is taking care of these people on the street. They are gift wrapping them for your courtroom. Why can't you be righting your own wrongs? Look, no matter how much I hate it, when you dismiss my cases because of technicalities, I still believe in the system. I wouldn't cross the line like the Night Watchman. If they really exist. They do, and they're going on trial tomorrow. Look, Moblock has to be the leader. Somehow he always picks up on the leads. He always has some inside angle. Maybe he's just a good reporter. Now, I've read the files. This fourth guy is supposed to be a young man. He rides a motorcycle. Doesn't exactly sound like Mo Block's description. Looks can be deceiving. What are you going to do for lunch? Lunch? Yeah. I'm bringing him in. OK. <laughs> you must be joking. The district attorney's office doesn't consider this a joking matter. Look, Marshal, is this an official interrogation? No, not at all. Everything we say here is off the record. All of us. You're simply here as a courtesy to Mr. Horton. And I'm here to make sure that Mr. Horton remains courteous to you. Good. We have to be very careful. No one outside this room can know my secret identity. Look, you can kid around all you want to. I'm going to find the evidence I need sooner or later. You'd be a hell of a lot better off if you admitted the truth now. All right. You've got me. It's all over. Take me away. But first. Can you tell me what wild fantasy led you to the incredible deduction that I was the leader of the Night Watchmen? You're the one that turned these people into heroes. If I were the leader, why would I jeopardize my operation by publicizing it? To divert attention from yourself. Ken, uh, take it easy. Relax. You've got to get this guy into some overworked district attorney stress management program. Hey, look, as soon as I finish putting away your friends, I'm coming after you. You know, this is the guy I used to hate. But right now, you're starting to piss me off. You'll never know when my people are watching you. At work, at home, at the movies, walking your damn dog. That's it. Is this bonehead planning to press charges? Uh, not now. No. Fine. Then I'm out of here. I've got better things to do than listen to this lunatic. Break him. I swear I will. No. No way. I do not want television cameras in my courtroom. I am not about to turn this into a circus. Yes. Yes, that's my final decision. Yes, goodbye. Five minutes, Your Honor. I'll be right there. Okay. Where are you going? I'm going with you. I've spent the past two days catching up on all my work. For this, I'm not going to miss the trial of the Night Watchman. I'd save you a seat, but you already have one. What, Tara, wait, wait. wait. Uh. Thank you. What is this? This is a special project. I need you to go through these files with a fine tooth comb. Oh, and this is a list of the things I need. For the trial. I'll let you know how it comes up. And Tara. Thank you. You may call your first witness, Mr. Horton. Your Honor, I have no witnesses. Counsel's approach. Thank you. 
All my witnesses are either dead or unable to appear here today. Then what do you have? Signed affidavit. Signed up. Signed affidavits and numerous police reports. Can he use them? Yes, I'm afraid he can. Carry on, Mr. Horton. Before being murdered on their way to prison by mafia hitmen disguised as U.S. Marshals, Anthony Ramsey and Kurt Stinger signed sworn statements. Statements that describe how they were set up by a group of people known as the Night Watchmen. Hey, wait a minute, objection. I mean, come on, Your Honor, we're being tried here for obstruction of justice, not for being imaginary of vigilante group. These cases present a past history that is critical to an understanding of this case. I'll allow it. As I was saying, the descriptions that these two men gave match the defendants perfectly. Nice. Young, clean. You know, this place looks pretty straight to be a whorehouse. It's supposed to. Gives the cops away. I've been in this business a long time. You know, I've never met anybody who can get together that much quality tale in so short a time. I don't believe in wasting time, so stop wasting mine. It's good to spend your money in the right places. Yeah, we have to remember this place next time you come here. Hello! Maybe next time I come alone. Got a little windy upstairs. As long as you both had a good time. The best. Forget a situation. Maria. Carly, run. Run. Carly Turner, the girl that helped turn them in, discounts all knowledge of the Night Watchman. She was obviously in collusion with me. Oh, objection! To what? I just found the man objectionable, that's all. <laughs> Dr. Harlan Jeffries, is currently incarcerated at the Siegeville Institute for the Criminally Insane. But before his breakdown, he painted a very interesting picture. I'm going to have you locked up in the most godforsaken hellhole this side of purgatory, and nobody is going to believe a word you say. Are you sure you can take that chance? <laughs> Come on. Hey, come on. I'm just only kidding. Obviously, Simon Tall won't be testifying here today. And neither will gang boss Pedro Santero nor Judge William Kirby. But gang witnesses at the scene claim an elaborate setup caused their death. The FBI doesn't play Santero. We're willing to give up a witness for one of our agents. We'll get you another day. But the woman goes first. I don't care if you are with the White House. They go together, I'll kill them both right now! That would be a neat trick if you could pull it off. All right, senor, all right. You, you win, huh? She goes first. Cuddy versus Jackson, 1982. I'm not familiar with that case. What does it state? It states, um, Your Honor, it, it states, it states he can't do that. Sit down, Mr. Farouche. <laughs> Thank you. 
I was a little too distracted. Michael and Gina Fredericks committed ritual suicide very soon after they were arrested. But before they did, they had this to say. Who the hell is this guy? Some crooked fence Michael was trying to kill. I'll tie him. I don't want him here when Michael shows him. What does it matter? Just do it. <sighs> Come on, hurry up. Michael's here. Gina! I killed Michael. Mm. Mm. Welcome home, Michael. Cops are on their way. They're gonna find your playroom. Your gun, too. It was her idea to kill them. Mm. Oh, isn't that yeah. sweet? Just like a regular portrait. Come on, let's go. Before being killed by fellow inmates for cheating at cards, Frank Parks gave a statement describing an elaborate gambling sting played on him. You're out of your mind. I thought you were a real gambler. Well, I am, but this is... This is nuts. Six to one odds. All you gotta do is pull the trigger once. If you survive, it's all yours. Now, allow me to return the opportunity. Damn it! <sighs> Come on, three to one. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> So what will you give me for it, Jimmy? Five bucks. What, are you out of your mind? I'm being real. They're phonies. Frank Parks, you're under arrest. Winchester Keller was exonerated of all wrongdoing. But Estelle Roberts, Keller's bodyguard, were not. Recently, just before they both died of cancer, they were still able to make the following statement. It's terrible what this stuff can do to the cleaning crew when they aren't careful. What's going on here? William Osterling and the General Consul of Bowdoin have since been deported to their country. But the recent incidents at the consulate here point to another night watchman conspiracy, some aspects of which cannot be divulged here for reasons of national security. Listen, don't be afraid. Not gonna hurt you, okay? <laughs> An honor to meet you, Colonel. Good evening, Mr. Osterling. Do you have my merchandise? And you? Have my payment? Drop it! Will you both dive? Do it! Very slowly, very carefully.
You're out of business, my friend. I mean, permanently. You're going away for a long time. You've obviously forgotten about diplomatic immunity. And you've forgotten there is no immunity. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Examples of what these people have been up to long before the case that brings them here today. Justice may be blind, Your Honor, but it can see in the dark. Prosecution rests. Is the defense ready to present its case? Yes, Your Honor. And call your first witness. There is no need to. The defense rests. Ladies and gentlemen, you may be wondering why we didn't present a defense. It's very simple. We didn't need one. Witch hunts went out of style a long time ago. But this is exactly what the district attorney is presenting you with. Now, as for the one charge against us, we didn't obstruct anything. We were innocent bystanders. And as for the other charges, scapegoats. But let me put this in your mind. Pretend for just one moment that we really are the night watchmen. And if what they're doing is obstructing justice, then tell me, what is justice? Thank you. Nick said the best defense was no offense. Tell me that when I'm wearing stripes. They were caught red-handed. And yes, I'll admit it, they're not on trial for being the night watchman. But the past cases I presented to you are fact. Somebody out there is taking the law into their own hands. If we allow this kind of twisted justice to go unpunished, our whole society could crumble at the feet of mob rule. Now look at them. Innocent bystanders or reckless vigilantes. You have to decide. Good speech. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, you have heard the state's case against the accused and their defense. It is now up to you to render a verdict. You must decide if the state has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendants are guilty of the charge of obstruction of justice. You may retire to deliberate. The bailiff will show you the way out. Ladies and gentlemen, good luck. Guilty, guilty, 11, guilty, one innocent. It's just one man's opinion. It's an opinion that's gonna keep us here for days. Come on, these night watchmen are guilty of sin. This isn't about the night watchmen. Whoever they are, they're guilty of obstruction of justice. Maybe, and maybe not. Right, let's say they are the night watchmen. The prosecution used these files to make their case. I've been looking at them. You'd be surprised how things can be read out of context. They are what they are. The files speak for themselves. Oh, they sure do. Maybe we've been listening to the wrong parts. The parts about uh, who these people were and well, the ones that were so upset about being set up. And the parts about what they did. Simon says, death.
Let's talk, Dad. Don't need a silencer for you. There's no one left to sneak up on. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. They're killing people. There's ozone in the air. There are pesticides in our food. As the oil wells burning up the Middle East, the world is getting worse, not better. They would have died eventually anyway. I saved them. A lot of grief. launching device, load conventional, chemical, and even nuclear payloads. Brilliant, Wilson. Yes. What does all that prove? Nothing really, but it kind of makes you think, doesn't it? Maybe in this case, Obstruction of justice is really upholding it. Oh, God. I can't go back to the joint. I really should have gone to the bathroom before this. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you reached a verdict? Yes, we have, Your Honor. Please read it. On the charge of obstruction of justice, we find the defendant not guilty. Yes! 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 I want a written apology! Yes! 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 Oh, God does love a fool. Yes! The jury is dismissed. The defendants are free to go. Yes! Thank you. Yes! Thank you. Yes! Thank you. Come on, everybody. Come on, God. Come on, out. Thank you, officer. Thank you, man. Thank you, everybody. Yes! Yeah, well, anyway, they're gone. All three of them. They no longer live where they're supposed to. There's no record of them in any database. Nick, I had them. I had them and they slipped right through my fingers. Well, Ken, you did everything you could do. The jury made the final decision. You know, now that the night watchmen are gone, I guess there won't be anybody to uh, clean up after me, huh? Yeah, we'll see. I'll tell you one thing I'm going to do. Yeah, what's that? I'm going to keep my eye on Mo Block. Hmm. You do that. You do that. I love it. We were guilty and we got off. I guess the system failed in our favor. Oh, no, actually not at all. The burden was on Horton to prove it. He failed. They found you guys not guilty, even if they thought he was right. I mean, it wasn't due to our brilliant legal defense? <laughs> no, it wasn't. Horton did it all to himself by bringing up all the previous cases. He showed the people exactly how twisted and corrupt the system has become. See, those cases were our defense. They convinced the people to cut right to the heart of the issue rather than the logic of it. Faith in the people. That was our plan all along. Well, so what are we going to do now? Lay low for a while? No, I think we have to go uh, find something we lost. We're going to go after Belloc? Yeah, I think we owe it to Horton, don't you? No, I wonder what the weather is like in South America this time of year. Sure, there's nothing we can't handle. 